There is a lot written and talked about about the promise of what the smart grid could do. How real is that? Well, I'm, I'm here to tell you today that I believe we are past the tipping point. It, it is no longer a science experiment. Five years ago, uh, the benefit to cost ratios were, you know, just slightly above sort of historic industry averages. Well, today we're seeing our, our, our uh, utility customers seeing benefit to cost ratios that are often two or more times better than historic industry averages that, that, that made the rate cases work. Uh, in fact, beyond that, we're now starting to see people really exceed the value that they expected, not just on the basic investment made in, uh, uh, in meter reading, but additional benefits that were never part of the base case because they're starting to leverage the same network to do more things, such as distribution automation and driving energy efficiency program and starting to now contemplate really large-scale uh, demand response uh, efforts. You're going to keep having a, a growing diversity of devices which allows more and more interesting kinds of applications to start showing up. We've had people approach us about, well, that's interesting. How about parking meters? You think parking meters could ride this on the same canopy traffic? Well, yeah, they actually can. How about street lights, uh, traffic control? So these are not fantasy questions. These are real live programs that we are engaged in now uh, in several places in the world where people want to use the same backbone canopy uh, to carry uh, low traffic. So, so remember, this is not about video streaming to your phone, right? This is a very different kind of network and a very different kind of data packet uh, talking back from vending machines or parking meters or street lights and traffic light controllers and so on. I'll leave you with the grand image of the Internet of Things <coughs> to come. And that is that the network is absolutely capable of handling this kind of traffic and this diversity of devices over time. And that's, that's where we're going to go uh, based on real day-to-day -day input from all of you and many others around the world. Uh, telling us where to invest and what to prioritize uh, because, boy, the, the choices and the cool things to be done are many, but what we do is we listen very, very careful to people like you uh, to know that, to, to try and point our R&D agenda to make sure that we can unlock the greatest value for you.